Okay, we have seen how to add a relay in the PCM600 with different methods. Then we should configure the relay. Right click on IED and select Read from IED to read all. Be careful, read operation doesn't read SCL information from IED. After the relay configuration and parameter settings, which are based on our application, we should load them to the relay. The next block is phase selection, which is a block to detect faults and start distance block. It requires voltage and current signals. And Let us create intentional difference in hardware configuration by changing and saving it. Then, do compare hardware configuration to see the changes made. The highlighted part the next function in the diagram is 67N. We can find this function block under the overcurrent group. Let in Once you move the cursor near to the signal, you can see the tooltip which describes the description of signal and default value of signal. This picture shows the connection diagram for double breaker config or B type in the 1.5 CB arrangement. This relay connected to two CBs and signals. Now we will try to map some goods received signals. By double click, you can create a connection between selected column and row. In the ordering session, we can see how to order a pre configured relay. This one is a sample ordering code. Let's see what does this code means. You can do all activities which we did using icon, using menu items also. You can export the display page or pages and reuse it for similar base by importing. We have imported two relays with pre-configurations, one with PCMI and the other one with template. Let's see the hardware modules of the other ones. Now open the disturbance records via disturbance record viewer wave win to do that. And from here we can check the manual close and recloser signals which can enable the automatic sort by external signals. If it is needed we can change this logic. You can see the information about technical key writing into the IED in the output log also. This logic shows in permissive scheme when the CR or carrier signals and CACC signal is also active. There is a trip after the code. Now select report controls tab and right click and select new to add the signals connected to the input number 1 to 16 can initiate the three phase trip and the inputs 17 to 32 can initiate single phase tripping for the phase 1 or phase L1. Then the next worksheet is about autoreclosing logic. Here there is a trip matrix to assign signals for start and inhibit the autoreclosing. We can simply route the signals to understand when the LED lights up and in the parameter settings, we can set the configuration, we can set whether the LED is latched or unlatched. Depending on 